the HHCS 4A Class of 2021, and we are helping Honduras through our gift catalog called Hope for Honduras. Hurricanes have recently hit Honduras and caused major floods and lots of damage. On top of that, COVID-19 is really bad for Honduras. They currently have 200,000 positive cases. That's why in our gift catalog, we have included things like masks and bottles of hand sanitizer to disinfect germs. We want to help real people who need our help. We want to communicate with them and hear their stories and how we can help. We believe that no one should have to starve or sleep outside. So that's why, as a class, we have created Hope for Honduras. COVID has affected our PBO. It has been a challenging year due to COVID. Our original plan was to do all the PBO work at school together, but with the latest shutdown, we are currently back online. We have had to discuss and complete our planning over our online classes. It gets complicated to share ideas and have conversations because someone might be unmute and be distracting. It, as a class, we wanted to learn earn, and help the of people of Honduras after learning about them and their culture and information literacy. Mr. Vetro came online to meet, meet with our class to share his experiences helping those in poor countries where people struggle for money for basic needs of living. We have had to shift our focus to plan our fundraising and advertising to be all online options only with videos and digital resources to, to share out to the community. We cannot meet together or go door to door or to share our learning and fundraising plans. Guys, today I will be explaining to you about the gift catalog. The gift catalog is something where you can help people with their loan and we are using one for our project. Another person will explain to you about it. The gift catalog we are using is Canvas Gift Catalog. There are people in our class that worked really hard on that and still are. And we need you to give money to our fundraiser. You don't have to, but it really help us. We have got info from these people, Old and New and Mr. Van Canva is a graphic design website where you can create your own page to advertise and share with other people. Also, we as a class used this website and created an online catalog for people to support relief efforts in Honduras. Anyone can use this website, even kids. We used the Canva website to create a gift catalog to purchase a lot of farm animals, hand sanitizer, and school supplies and we created multiple drafts, and over time, we have struggled to do this, but we got through. And we have met up with Mr. Byron, and he has taught us a lot about Honduras, and that helped us with the last draft. Also, this took a lot of time and effort to create the catalog, so I hope you respect our work. Hills Christian School presents to you our e-form where you can buy all of your gift catalog items and e-transfer all payments to Hope for Honduras at hh-cs.org. We appreciate your support and help. Both every great project comes from blocks along the way. One of the problems we ran into was banking and how to allow our school families to choose the items to buy. Our solution was to get our own e
So in my class, Mr. Vetro talked to us about helping Central America and microfinancing. Microfinancing is when you lend money to someone and they try to repay it. So if you lend money, the money helps them get going, then they should pay it back to you. Then you give the money to someone else. Then you get it back, then you give it to another person. That money could help someone's life. They could get a good business or help them get some helpful materials for their house. For example, Lending Journey. Lending Journey gave a woman money. She bought a blender. With that blender, she opened a smoothie shop and got money off of it. Then they gave her another loan and she started a restaurant. Education in Honduras is free for students 6 to 15 years of age. The cost of their uniforms and school supplies prevents many kids from getting a good education. Lots of kids get pulled out of school to work starting at a very young age. In 10 of 18 areas of Honduras, over 90% of the student need to redo grades. Only 30% of kids get the opportunity to go to high school and 51% of children finish primary school. The usual time it takes for a student to progress from 1st to 6th grade is around 9 years. The reason for that is families need their children to work and provide enough income for the family to survive. A problem in Honduras is 13.5% of kids don't get the opportunity to go to school. Although this year, because of COVID, students don't have to wear uniforms because they're all at home. Sadly, sometimes the teachers don't have the technology to be on seven hours every day for a week. And so they just tell the kids what to do, like a big pile of homework for the week, and then they come back next week. So then that limits their that limits their meeting time for once a week. This year as a class 4A, we are supporting our school supplies, such as pencils, markers, and scissors. Please help us as we try to help Honduras. Ripped apart from the hurricane in Honduras, Hurricanes typically last up to 12 to 24 hours. The Hurricane Eta hit Honduras on December 4, 2020. Eta lasted in Honduras for two days. Iota hit Honduras on November 13, 2020 and lasted till November 18, 2020. It was a big hurricane. Now people are living on the muddy streets from the hurricane that destroyed homes, schools, and much more. They even destroyed their island. We want to help the people of Honduras. That's why grade 4A students are making a gift catalog to help the people. There are many sick Honduras children in need, having nothing to eat and hard ground that they sleep on, having bruises on their arms and legs and cramps from sleeping on the ground. Some having parents, some having no parents. Many starve. Every night before the mom and the children turn on the bath over the sink, praying and hoping that water would come out for them to drink. Many children have no father. Usually when the mother has their baby, the father has no interest in the kids. Because Honduras is a very poor country, the family does not have enough money to buy the baby clothing or toys. Many fathers eventually decide to leave the mother and the kids in hope of making a new fresh start somewhere else. Honduras is a very poor country but we have very helpful resources. If you were to live far in the country, you would have a good amount of clean and healthy drinking water, but not that good in a good amount of electricity. If, on the other hand, if you were to live deep in the inside, cities of Honduras, we would have good electricity, but not that good of water that can be the threat to worms and other bacteria that are not good for you and can possibly be fatal. Uh, many people in Honduras drink a lot of coke because they don't want to drink the unhealthy water that is bad for you. And many people in Honduras will clog those sinks in bathtubs every night and turn on the water just in case the government chooses to put that faucet on that night because the government only chooses once a week to put the water on. Like 
hours, we need lots and lots of grit. For us, grit meant not giving up on our progress, trusting our skills, not being afraid to try new things, to trust each other and to trust their skills. We had a Zoom call with Mr. Byron, someone who works at World Running. After all his information, we realized we had to change our plan, and that was extremely hard to do. It affected us all, but most of all, it was hard on the people creating it in Canva, and we needed grit to keep working. In the beginning, we expected to have one perfect draft, but as you can tell, we were wrong, and we needed grit and determination from the beginning. We use grit in everyday life, not just for a project. Project, we have to be flexible with our ideas. Is it possible to do this during COVID? We also had to adapt from in-person school to online learning and still get from point A to point B during COVID. We also had to understand that we had to walk beside them, not in front of them. That meant we had to be flexible because we cannot tell them what they need because we don't know what they need. We need them to tell us what their story is, what they need and how we can help. Then from that information, we can create a plan. funny and entertaining. Their videos mostly show up on Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram. So now me and Gracie are social media influencers. So make sure to go onto the school's Facebook account and be sure to check out me and Gracie's scripts for Philippians 2 verse 4 Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. This relates to our PBL because by doing this for Honduras, we're thinking of them and how we can help them instead of helping ourselves.